Right, in this section I'm going to talk about the types of steady flow systems that you see that are common in engineering problems. And there are six um, types which you, you'll commonly see um, in, you know, in engineering. And I'm going to go through and talk about those and also some of the assumptions that you can make for them as well. So the first one that I'm um, going to look at is um, what's called a diffuser. Okay, so you can see this is a device where its cross-sectional area increases with um, downstream distance. Okay, so you can see uh, the velocity or the fluid's coming in at the inlet and it's leaving with another velocity, which you um, probably work out would be a slower velocity because this thing is increasing in area. And the purpose of this device is to create um, high pressure, low velocity fluid at the outlet. Okay. So although the velocity of the outlet will be lower, its um, static pressure will be higher. Now, it should be said that for all of these devices, you will have some sort of um, heat transfer. But as you're perhaps aware by now in engineering, we often make assumptions um, to, simplify the, to simplify the problems. So for a diffuser, we can normally neglect the heat transfer. So in other words, um, Q is zero. Now, because this is a, a solid um, boundary, you know, the, the boundary doesn't move. And if you remember from um, an earlier lecture, uh, so an earlier lecture, um, if no, if the boundary is not moving, then no work is done. So also work for this diffuser um, is equal to zero. And we can also assume, because there is no heat transfer, that this process is assumed to be adiabatic. Okay, so that's a diffuser. So going from... Uh, high to low velocity, but going from low to higher pressure, no heat transfer, no work done. So, sort of in the opposite of this one um, is a nozzle, okay? So you can see it's tapered the other way, so this is a nozzle is a device in which its cross-sectional area decreases with downstream distance. So you can see that the velocity going in at one velocity is coming out at a higher velocity uh, because of continuity. And exactly the same thing, um, we can neglect heat transfer for this type of device as we did for a diffuser. And also because there is no movement at the boundary, um, no work is done. And again, um, because there's no heat transfer, we can assume this, we, we also assume this process to be adiabatic, okay? So diffusers and nozzles, um, sort of same thing, I guess, but um, flipped around, if you if you can think of it like that. Um, so therefore, the output's slightly differently. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is a, a cooler, or you might see it called a condenser, okay? So this is a device in which um, there is a net uh, transfer of heat out of the system, okay? So we put in um, uh, velocity of one um, velocity and assuming sort of cross-section area will come out at the same. And because this is a rigid device, again, the boundaries don't move, so therefore no work is done, okay? So this is simply to remove heat from the fluid as it's going from the inlet port to the outlet port. Another thing, it should be said as well, that you can sort of get combinations of these devices as well. Okay, so that's a cooler or condenser, which as the name suggests is just removing heat from the fluid. So the opposite of that is a heater or a boiler. So here we put in um, uh, fluid in, okay, and constant what goes in must come out, so the mass flow rate is a constant. And um, so there's a net transfer of heat into the system. So um, Q is greater than one. So that's the other thing actually to just um, be conscious of the sign convention. Okay, so heat added to a fluid is considered positive. Heat removed from a um, fluid is, uh, is negative, okay? And again, because this is rigid, there's no work done. So therefore, W is zero. Okay, so we've got um, nozzle, diffuser, cooler, and heater. 
The next one, or the fifth one we're going to look at, is a turbine. Okay, so this looks sort of similar to the diffuser, I guess, and you, you might think it does the same thing, but in here we've got a set of um, fans. So as the fluid um, comes into the device, impact with the um, blades causes it to spin and it produces useful work on the on the shaft that's running through the turbine okay so um, as I say this is this is doing work or work is done by the gas and or by the fluid I should say and so that's positive okay we consider work done by the fluid um, to be positive okay so that's why W is greater than zero and similar with the um, the diffuser and the nozzle uh, there will be an, an element of um, heat transfer but for most practical applications you can neglect that okay even for these turbines because often as I say you're trying to simplify the problem so we neglect the heat transfer and say that um, Q is equal to zero and again here we can assume that the process is to be adiabatic. Then the flip or the opposite of a turbine is a compressor. So here instead of um, the device producing useful work, work is required to drive the compressor. Okay, So here work is being done on the gas, so um, uh, W is negative. Okay. Um, rather than being greater than zero and so this is you can imagine you know compressors the name um, so it indicates it's used to compress the fluid okay and again for most practical applications you can neglect the heat transfer therefore q is equal to zero and again um, because of that or we assume the um, this process to be adiabatic Okay, so remember these sort of three pairs, six in total uh, types of devices and how we can sort of simplify them. So we can normally neglect heat transfer for all of them except for the cooler um, and the heater because obviously that's their purpose is to transfer heat. So you can normally cancel, uh, not cancel, you can normally neglect work or heat transfer um, for these devices. Okay, so we will talk about these more in later lectures.